Hi, I'm Michael Diamari, author of the upcoming book, Women Have All the Power, They Just Forgot. One of the questions I'm always asked when I speak to a group of women is why are you talking to women first and not men? Well, the simple answer to this is it's hard to teach a group of people to do more or be more when so much less is being expected of them. I'll give you an example. I have two young boys, six and nine, who I spend a considerable amount of time teaching how to be men, telling them to open the door first, telling them that they pay on dates when they ask to go out. The basic old school or hopeless romantic versions of chivalry, if you will. What happens when my sons grow up and go out into the world and notice that the guy with no job is getting all the attention? The guy who speaks to women disrespectfully is still getting attention because of the, si the type of car he drives or the, how big his house is. Or better yet, the famous person is completely unfaithful, but women continue to swoon over him. What happens to the values I've taught my son? You as women begin to teach them that none of that matters. It's about money or a car or house or status. But I'm pretty sure none of that is in your top five list of priorities that you want when you're looking for your life partner. Listen, if a man isn't being chivalrous, he's not your immediate problem. The fact of the matter is, if you don't accept that behavior, that man will slowly wither away in the single world or he will slowly begin to change his behavior because he will understand that women will no longer accept the way he behaves. The immediate problem are your friends or your sisters or female co-workers. The fact is when they lower their standards, they're teaching those same men that it's okay. They're single-handedly making your standards completely insignificant. With that being said, I want you to consider something. All the time you and your girlfriends and your sisters spend sitting around trying to figure out why men do what they do and why they act the way they do is a vicious circle that I can assure you you will never win or get an answer to. However, take that same energy as women and look around at each other. Find out if any of you are doing the things that lower your standards collectively. If you find something, work together, unite, become a team, form a bond, and slowly grow together. I can assure you, this type of unity and this type of growth will have a much more profound impact on the behavior of men. Until we meet again, remember, you have the power. So don't convince yourself that you want less just because it's getting harder to get more.